If your spouse is working or has worked, understand the strategies for them to maximize their railroad retirement. Welcome everyone to the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors and today we're going to talk about spousal annuities and in particular working spouses, okay? So two income family, one under, understand how that's going to affect your railroad retirement annuity in, uh, in retirement. So I'm going to walk through it. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of text. Uh, I'm just going to work through an example because I think that might be a good way to illustrate. Uh, the situation. So let's say we have a railroader retiring at full retirement age, okay, and their tier one might be $2,000 and their tier two is $1,000. Now remember, okay, I said full retirement age, so if you don't have, if you're not retiring at full retirement age, uh, reductions do apply. This case, we're going to just keep it simple and go full retirement age. So $2,000, $1,000. Now we have a spouse, what are they entitled to? So they're entitled to $1,000, which is 50% of the Tier 1, and 45% of the Tier 2, $450. They're entitled at their full retirement age, not uh, this railroader's full retirement age, their full retirement age. Very important. Okay, so that's straightforward. Okay, now let's say we have a working spouse, and this individual has made significant income, and they're entitled on their own to Social Security of $2,000, right? So, uh, you know, pretty much matches the railroad there. So they were like, well, I don't want a $1,000 spouse annuity. I want my $2,000. Well, at their full retirement age, they will get their $2,000. It's just shown they'll collect it through the Railroad Retirement Board. They get the $1,000 from the uh, spousal annuity, and then they'll get $1,000 from Social Security for the total of the $2,000 that they were due. It's important to remember they are not getting $3,000 of a thousand spousal annuity plus their 2,000 social security. That's, you don't get $3,000. 2,000, that's the limit. They also get the working spouse. Uh, this individual also gets the tier two of $450. All right. So that's how that would work. Okay. At full retirement age. Now, Let's look at a uh, possible strategy here that might be interesting for some people. It's, let's say a 30-year 30, 30 uh, uh, individual, railroader, retired. They could do something where this is a spousal strategy. Uh, it could take your spousal annuity at 60, right, which is uh, full retirement age for the uh, Tier 1. So they would get the 1,000. They could take the 1,000 uh, and the 1,450, okay, and then at 70, switch okay get rid of their tier one so to speak and collect social security and then the 450 however what's nice about social security is you get those delayed retirement benefits so from 67 to 70 they're collecting another eight percent so instead of two thousand dollars a month that they're entitled to they would actually at 70 by switching to this strategy they would be entitled to 2480 a month okay going forward plus the 450 it's something to think about. There's some individuals that might be worthwhile depending upon what their Social Security payments uh, are going to be uh, look like. Uh, it's just something that's out there uh, for individuals. So uh, feel free to reach out to me. Go through my Boarding for Railroad Retirement Assessment. It's really helpful for individuals closing in on railroad retirement to understand, you know, simple strategies like this and all those other pieces of the puzzle that uh, help for a great railroad retirement. So sign up for that. Uh, as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate that. You know, click on the bell for notifications, thumbs up, like, all those things. That's great. And in the meantime, everyone, until I see you next time, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody.